Hello everyone, welcome to the 8085 programming. So today we will do the program this one. Okay, so write a program to store 12H in register A, C5H in register B and then interchange their contents. So we have to do this program where we store 12H in A, C5 in B and after the execution of the program, A must contain C5 and this B must contain 12H. Okay. So I have created an anim animation and the program is there and after uh, watching the animation we will understand how the program works and then we will execute the program on uh, two platforms one is the PC so I will show which software I am using you can also use any other software and uh, on uh, my Android uh, mobile I will show another uh, software another app where we can run this particular program so now let us see the code so this is the code so we are using memory location 8000 we are writing whatever program we will write we will write from 8000 so at 8000 we have MVI A12H storing 12H in A then MVI B at 8002 because this MVI A is a 2 byte instruction then MVI B is also 2 byte instruction we have to store C5 in B and then uh, what we are doing is we are taking a, a dummy like a, a, a register C so what we do with we transfer the contents from A to C okay and then B to B to A and then whatever is in C because whatever C contains is actually the contents of A and that is transferred to B. Now let us run this uh, animation. So with the first instruction MVI A, 12 H gets stored in A. With MVI B, C5 gets stored in register B. And with C comma A, the contents of A as you can see, A gets transferred to C. You can see here. With the next instruction A comma B, the contents of B are transferred to A. And the last instruction move b comma c the contents of c are transferred to register b and this is how we do so when we store the data a contain 12 and b c5 but after the execution this is the final result a contains c5 and b contains 1 2 now let us execute this uh, program on two different platforms one which is pc based and other which is uh, mobile based now whenever we want to write the 8085 program so this is the format we write the program we make four columns the leftmost column it contains the memory location the second one contains the mnemonics the third contains the hex code and the fourth contains the comments so we need to find the hex code for each and every instruction so for that purpose we need the opcode paper so it is available on the net okay, I, will, I will also share the link for uh, the opcode paper so if you see uh, the code for MVI A is 3E and the next byte will come afterwards the code for MVI B is 06 and afterwards we get C5 then move C comma A is 4F move A comma B is 78 move B comma C is 41 and HL is halt is 76 so when we are entering the uh, code in the machine we enter two things one is this uh, memory location okay the second thing which we enter into the machine is the hex code these two things are to be entered into the machine and then we will execute the code so now let us see the pc based app uh, the pc based software where we will run the program and execute it so what uh, software i use is uh, jubins 8085 simulator this is actually java based so first if you want to use this particular software you have to install java in your machine uh, you can also check for any other uh, software which is available online okay many are available one is Vikas is also available so you can check out any of them so I, I, I will use this one okay. so uh, Java should be there first of all in our system now we get this particular window okay. this is what we get for uh, this Jobins now what I do is I go to the view okay you can click on view and when you go for the view we get this uh, 8085 microprocessor okay kit kit mode so this is what we get okay so we'll write program on this particular kit mode now before entering the code we must write this program somewhere in our book so that we know where wo, at what memory location what we are because we have to enter two things the memory location and the hex code so note down this memory location and hex code then we'll enter this into the machine and then exit so when we turn on this machine we get this uh, written okay friend now we have to enter the memory address as well as the hex code so what we do is we press the reset key reset then set after reset and set we have to type the address of the memory location the first memory location it is of course 8000 okay 8 
zero zero zero. After typing eight zero zero, okay, we need to actually increment INR. Okay, INR we can get this data. This is the field which we want. So we will now enter the first code that is three e. So three e. Now we have to go to eight thousand one. So INR and one two. Okay, this one two, and then INR. The next code is zero six. So this zero six. Okay, then INR. We have C five. So this is C is here, and this is five. Okay, and then INR. Then we have four F. Okay? So this is four, and this is F. Okay, you can see here what is coming. Four F, and then after four F, we have seven eight. So this is seven. This is eight. Okay. Then again INR. Okay. Then we have four one. Okay. So we have four one. Okay. Then again INR. Then final is seven six. So this is seven six. Now. After seven six seven six halt insertion, we must press INR once more. Okay. Now this is how we enter the code. Now in order to execute the code, we press the reset key, reset, then go. Okay. Go. After pressing go, we have to type the very first memory location that is eight thousand eight zero zero zero, and then after that, press this execute key. Okay. Now after pressing the execute key, the program has been executed. Now we want to check the register contents. Okay, to check the register content, press this R E G. Okay, now R E G we have pressed R E G. Now we want to check A because because we want to check A and uh, A and B. So A must contain C five and B must contain one two. After pressing R E G, don't don't press this A. This A you can see it is A B C D is given here the register. This is A for data and this is this A is for register. So I press A, I get C five. And when I press B, I get one two. So this is how we execute the program on this kit. All the programs we can execute on this particular kit. Now let us check the Android platform. So this is my mobile screen. Okay, I will just uh, find this 8085 simulator. This is the simulator which I am using. I will share this. I will share the link for this. Downloading this 8085 simulator. You can you can also use any other simulator. Many simulators are available. So when we open the screen, we get this particular interface, okay. and then I press on this kit. You can see on the right top right corner there is a kit written. So when we press on that kit, we get various kits are available here. So I I prefer this Dynalog Dyna 85. Okay. So when I press on this Dynalog Dyna 85, okay, we get uh, I got this particular written friend. Okay, and then uh, we press the uh, to enter the program. What we do? Is uh, we press the reset key. Okay, this is the reset key. When we press the reset key, we get this interface. Okay, now we have to start with eight thousand. So I press eight thousand eight zero 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 zero, and then press INR. After that, press INR. Okay, we get this particular data. Now this is A five, but we, because in our case we have to write three E. So whatever we write, it will be oh, it will be overwritten over that. Okay, so we type three E. Okay. We write three. Next for the for 8001 we put uh, we press INR again, okay, and we continue as similar in the previous case. We continue up to 76, and after 76 we press INR once more. We just go on entering the code, just as we did in the PC based software. It is similar to that one. So we we go on pressing this, okay, and finally we come to. Uh, this uh, all the codes, and now we have seven six. Okay, we press INR once more. Now to execute the program, what we do is we press the reset key. Okay, so we press the reset key, and you can see after pressing the reset key, we press the go key. You can see the go key is here in this case. So we press the go key. After pressing the go key, we get this screen. Now after pressing the go key, we have to we have to type the address eight thousand, the very first address. Okay. And then after that, we we have to press the exec key, execute key. Okay. Now when we press the execute key, we get this e means the program is executed. Now to check the content, we again press the. You can see the reset key. Okay, we press the reset key again. So we press the reset key. Now to check the content of the register, we press this reg. Okay, we press this reg key. Okay, and after pressing, we get this screen. And when after this, if we press A, we get the contents of A. If we press B, we get the contents of B. So with A, we get C5, and with B, we get 12. So this is how we can uh, execute the program uh, either on the PC uh, 
software or, or you can, you can or either on a mobile uh, software okay so that's all for this uh, tutorial thanks for watching